This recently discovered canvas of a hound holding a candle in its mouth is by Juan de Parea, a painter who led an extraordinary life. He began as a slave in the studio of Diego Velazquez, secured his freedom, and forged a successful career as an artist in 17th century Spain. Perea is best known from the superb circa 1650 portrait by Velázquez. Acquired by the Metropolitan Museum in 1970 for a record-breaking price, it is a landmark of Western portraiture. Born in 1606 in the province of Malaga, Perea's mother was a Moor, his father Spanish. Spain was a prolific slave-trading nation, and most artists owned slaves. While grinding colors and stretching canvases in the workshop of Velázquez, Perea formed his ambition to become a painter. A legend recalls a visit by Philip IV to Velázquez's studio. Perea placed one of his paintings to be seen by the king. When the king saw the canvas, Perea explained that he had taught himself to paint and begged for his freedom. The king exclaimed, any man who has this skill cannot be a slave, at which point Perea was granted his freedom. Although this story is apocryphal, months after depicting Perea in his virtuoso portrait, Velázquez liberated Perea. In a society obsessed with lineage and hostile towards outsiders, Perea's success as an independent painter is remarkable. Only a handful of paintings by him are known today. The most recognized, The Calling of St. Matthew, now in the Prado, includes his self-portrait. His portrait of Philip IV, King of Spain, is lost. The hound holding a lit taper in its mouth is the dog of St. Dominic, a key figure in the Spanish church. It is an important addition to Perea's Ove, especially as so few works by the artist survive. A stalk of lilies and a dark sphere frame the artist's signature. Juan de Perea, proud of his unprecedented rise, always signed his paintings prominently. <laughs>